So friends, I'm going to take you to Wilson, North Carolina, the home of White's Tires with this giant dude right here. Hey man, what's up? High five. And we're going to look at a couple of places that Elvis played here, a high school and a baseball field, different times, and a little bonus spot. Stay tuned. So friends, we're in Wilson, North Carolina. And a little place that Elvis played is coming up right down here. We're going to turn and go down this street. And we're going to find our little spot down here. He played two different places in this town. The other place was a high school. This place was a stadium called Fleming Stadium this little place right here and it happens to still be here we're gonna find us a good place to park and we're gonna get out and check it out stay tuned so September 1955 Elvis Scotty Bill DJ came here and played Fleming Stadium and it still looks very much like it did back then, as you can imagine. You can see the old grandstands, the old stands and stuff like that. I bet it is still very much like it was. These old ticket booths even look original. Now, remember, if you watched my story about uh, Elvis in Newburn, North Carolina, he played in Newburn one time. And then the next day they left and went to Suffolk, Virginia. The second time that they played Newburn, they played here the next day. So we're going to look around a little bit. And this was a time Elvis was traveling with Cowboy Copas and the Lubin brothers. And this was at the point in Elvis's career when the Colonel was starting to take over his marketing. And you can tell that whenever you look at the advertisements and things that were used because you'll see that Elvis is really prominent in this. Wednesday, September the 4th at was that, 8 p.m. I can't see it, guys. I don't have my glasses on. Fleming Stadium, which is right here. That stadium's been here since 1938. So when Elvis was here, it was almost 20 years old. I see there's people here working. You can see it's a very, very old place. Still very cool, still very happening. But you can see that the stadium is still very cool looking. I'm gonna keep on walking around. See how much further, how much more I can see. I may even fly the glory. You never know. But they say when Elvis went on stage, now where the stage was back then, who knows. But they say when he went on stage, he fell down. Made a couple of jokes. Looks like shovels in the ground, doesn't it? Now it's just worn out. <laughs> the two different times he played here were both on the 14th of the month. And another thing to keep in mind was he moved from 2414 Lamar to 1414 Getwell about the same time as he was here. And the next time he played Wilson, he was purchasing the Audubon house around the corner from Getwell. This is interesting. A tree fell through the fence and they just cut it, the ends off and went, you know what? We'll just let that be the fence now. Hmm. And this is also the home of the North Carolina Baseball Museum. And they filmed some scenes, or a scene, the rain scene from the Bull Durham movie here as well, Kevin Costner. It's 
So this is the other side of it. Really got some age on it. The grandstands and such. So this is it. Elvis played right here. They would have put the stage probably where home plate is right there. And you can see. Very, very cool stuff. And it's still here. That's the amazing thing. Can you see Elvis running up stage on the stairs and falling, making jokes, and then singing, that's all right, mama. This was before Heartbreak Hotel. So friends, I talked to a gentleman here that's actually washing this bus right here, and he was able to tell me where Cliff's drive-in was. He called Bob, and Bob told him, Bob's 80 years old, and I asked if it was okay if we could walk up here, and he said, indeed, it was. September 1955, Elvis Presley, right here. And the stage could have been further out, but I would have, yeah, I'm, I would think the stage may have been between home plate and the pitcher's mound, maybe there, so you could, everybody could see you all the way around. But these seats, so these look newer. Well, maybe. Yeah, all these are plastic. So these, the seats have been replaced, I would, I would say. But can you imagine sitting right here watching Elvis play right there? Or even... Now all this was here. This is original. What if you were here watching Elvis play? Right there. Very nice man to let us in here. And also to find out where Cliff's restaurant is. That's a Big A Fan right there. That's actually the brand name of it, Big A Fan Company. <laughs> and they say, as I mentioned before, when Elvis ran up on the stage, he fell. Got a little embarrassed. That's per Scotty Moore. He told some jokes. And then commenced to singing. Well, that's all right, Mama. That's all right with you. That's all right, mama, just any way you choose. Well, that's all right. That's all right. Imagine all this stuff was here. This concrete, all this was here. It witnessed it. Incredible. That's back in the day, friends. Appreciate it. I don't know where he's at. So they may have parked right over here. This is where I would expect it to have been. Slip through right here. Run out here. Up on the stage. I don't know how big the stage was, but I think you're at least on it right now. You see the pitcher's mound, home plate. So I imagine he was somewhere close to here, and this is what his vantage point would have been. And this was at night. 
I think it was eight or nine o'clock at night. So it'd been a nighttime show. Those lights would have been shining. Incredible. Incredible. So to show you how close it is, there's the stadium right there. And Elvis went and ate on a Cliffs Drive-In on Goldsboro Street. So we're going to go down here. The nice man told me that it was this way, not very far. We're going to scoot down here and see.